this is me, Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. And before we get started with today's video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. That way, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So today, I'm going to be doing the Beauty and the Beast book tag. So let's just get started. First is Gaston, and the first prompt is a villain you can't help but love. I'm going to have to go with Maleficent from Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell. Next, also for Gaston, is a book everyone loves that you don't. I'm going to have to say The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. I read it and DNF'd it, and I also read The Soulmate Equation and only gave 3.5 stars. It was okay, but everyone loves their books, and they are just not for me. So I'm going to have to say The Honey Don't List. For Belle and Adam, your favorite one true pairing. So from a book, I guess it's going to have to be Harry and Ginny from Harry Potter. So that's what I'm going to go with. And next is Belle, a character who is destined for greater things. I think is honestly Belle from As Old As Time by Liz Braswell. So I know that's kind of like not really cheating, but kind of. And next is a book you bought for its beautiful cover that is just as beautiful on the inside too. That is going to have to be The Selection by Kira Cass. I love that cover and I love that book. Next is LeFou and it is a loyal sidekick you can't help but love more than their counterpart. And I am probably going to have to go with... Oh, who should I pick for this? Okay, so I've been looking at my shelves and I just can't think of anything, so I'm going to skip that one. Next is Mrs. Potts, Chip, Lumiere, and Cogsworth. And it is a book that helped you through a difficult time or really taught you something. I am going to go with um, The Selection by Kira Cass. It really helped me through somewhat of a difficult time and just helped me get into reading. And I love that series and I've learned some things from it. I would also have to go with The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. That got me through a hard time, and it's just such a good series. Next is Be Our Guest, and it is a book that made you hungry. Fellowship of the Rain. Bilbo's Birthday. Oh my god, that's all I need to say. And a fictional character you'd love to have over for dinner? Mm, probably... Um, who would I pick? Probably Charlie from Heartstopper. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. And then Beauty and the Beast. Um, opposites attract. I'm going to have to go with... Um, opposites attract. Charlie and Nick from Heartstopper. Something there. A character who is more than they appear. Um, I'm going to go with... Chiron, or however you say his name, from Percy Jackson. A book or series that you weren't into at first, but picked up toward into at first, but picked up towards the end. I'm gonna have to say, yeah, I don't think there is one for that. Um, maybe I'm trying to think, but I can't think of any. So gonna have to skip that one too and then kill the beast a book you picked up because of the hype definitely november 9 by colleen hoover and i ended up loving it so it worked out and evermore a book or moment that always makes you cry in harry potter when dobby dies not always that's so sad so i'm gonna have to go with that one tale is all this time a popular theme chopper setting you will never get tired of reading enemies to lovers i love it i could read that forever um and a setting definitely just modern times and so yeah and that is it for this tag if you made it this far please leave me a yellow emoji and i will see you guys next time so please don't make please don't make sure Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone!